Hi everyone, welcome to Molly's Tarot. This is going to be an all signs tarot reading. And in this reading that I do weekly, we are going to look at a variety of different areas of your life for the upcoming next seven to 10 days. So we're going to look at a little bit of love. We're going to look at friends and or family, also workplace, career, and or money, depending on which area that falls in for you. Uh, we'll also look and see if there's anything unexpected that may come up. Sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't, okay. And uh, just an overall energy for you as well with like an oracle card advice and and energy that sort of thing so let's go ahead and get started we're going to do aries all the way through pisces and you can follow your timestamp below in the comments all right okay so let's get started with aries and see what's going on for your next seven to ten days ahead what do we have for aries please aries tell me about aries for the next seven to ten days please Okay, there it is. Okay, ooh, <laughs> chained. Pixies fans, anyone? All right, uh, let's see. Chain of events that will affect your life. Well, that's <laughs> that's a whole lot. Okay, let's see what that's about. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, you know what? I remember, too. I have reversals in my deck. I never straightened it out from the last reading. So we may have a few reversals in this read. We'll see. Uh, I don't typically read reversals, but we'll go with it if they come out. Okay, tell me what's going on with Aries, please, Spirit, the highest and clearest for Aries this coming week. We're chained. We're chained. Uh, I've, it's the Pixies. The song is called Hey that came into my head when I saw that chain. But it's it's probably not like a sign or anything like that. It's just it's one of my favorite songs. So that's when I saw that. Okay, tell me about Aries, please, for the week ahead. Aries. Okay. No? Okay. There we go. Ooh, intriguing. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. This is going to be sticky, delicate, all those sorts of things. It has something possibly to do with, like, your work or how you how you play well with others in some capacity, but it's, I don't feel it's like temperament as far as like bad moods or people are grumpy or you have to be on edge or, you know, on your guard or anything like that. I feel like it's, it's a week for you to really come out of your shell. All right. Because you have the eight of swords crowning this reading as your overall energy. A lot of times the eight of swords is a little nervous or a little intimidated or, if it's not that, because most Aries aren't, let's face it, you know, most Aries are, are pretty good in, in that, uh, the confidence department. It can also just mean, though, a feeling like you don't want to speak up for something that you want to, but you don't. So I would say, you know, be, uh, be yourself this week. Um, unless yourself is uh, not one to speak up or, or be confident, then this is a week to be confident, to come out of your shell, that sort of thing for sure. Um, all right. Because it's like, I feel like you are so involved in some kind of project that you're not noticing all the others around you. So it would also be a week to be for lack of a better phrase, I know we're all sick of hearing that that phrase, but a team player, this would be a week to be a team player, to not feel nervous about that, all right? So like step into things, don't avoid things, work with others, don't just haul yourself off and you know um, be like a hermit or just do your own thing or get so involved in projects that you're not no noticing other opportunities that could be around you as well. So that's, that's what I see. Because I feel like there's a chance here for something good to come through. It may have something to do via, uh, like something that comes through via f uh, family and or a friend that has some sort of interesting plan that could really be, because you have judgment card at the bottom of the deck as well. And judgment card can be a very faded kind of karma type card in, in a good way, not necessarily like a bad way or anything like that. It's, 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 uh, the trumpets are blowing. It's time for something to change. I feel like somebody in your family and or friend arena may have some sort of suggestion or plan or idea or something along those lines to, to move something forward. And, but you may be so, 
what do I want to say, like one-sided with a particular, and not in a bad way, but like it's like what you're used to. You're used to just focusing, hammering down, doing this one thing, and or you're just really into something this week where it's like you may not see others around you. Okay, because you have justice in reverse showing up in the like work slash career energy here. And again, it's like, I feel like there could be some kind of opportunity here where you could really balance some sort of karma and it has something to do with working with others. So this is not a time to just be the lone wolf that Aries loves to be, you know, because you're good at that. You guys are. It's like you don't have to have teams. You don't, you know, you do work well on your own, but this is a time to be a team player this week, okay? Because in the unexpected, you have the Three of Cups in reverse. So it's, and you also have the Three of Pentacles here in reverse as well. So there's a lot of cards about like where, like, not working well with others. And I feel like you can turn those around by you know, buy a few things. <clears throat> I'm going to clarify a little bit here because your reading is very specific. Like it doesn't really talk about any of the er other areas of your life. <laughs> All right. So like we're going to look at love, but I, I just, I feel like things aren't really working out on the same page right now, but let's see. All right. So I'm going to get a little bit more on justice because this deck is not in reverse. So let's see what's going on with this. All right. So tell me about justice in reverse here. Tell me about that, please, for Aries. What's going on with that in their work, career, and or finances? Okay. Yeah, five of pentacles. Wow. But then the sun. Okay, the sun card. And the hanged man. Yeah, see, there's an opportunity here to look at from a different way. So again, instead of just looking at it for like, well, screw that, I'm just going to do my own thing or something like that. Like you may be offered something to work with others or to join in with something. And that, again, it could come from family and or friends. Not necessarily. These could be unrelated. But it's like there's there's something here where it actually, if you do look at it from a different perspective, it could be very, very good for you. All right. That's what I'm sensing. There may be some hesitancy because something about it had left you out in the cold before or something about whatever is suggested is something that you're, um, you didn't have much luck with before is basically what I'm seeing. Okay. So tell me about this unexpected three of cups in reverse uh, yeah four of cups <laughs> just fell out so again yeah like some kind of opportunity right in front here being offered and there's this sense of like not wanting it like oh no i can do better than that i want something better or um which is, sometimes that's good you should be like that right but for the, some reason this opportunity it seems like even though it may require working with others in and there might be something attached to it that you're not really super stoked with. <laughs> stoked, you know, like in the 1980s. I've been I've been watching too much Cobra Kai. Um, then it's like I don't know. It just feels like it will pay off. Yeah, something's coming towards you quick. All right, that's what I see, and it is an opportunity. And I feel like someone's going to be like, "Oh my God, don't you see that this is an opportunity?" Um, and you may just be like your head buried in something so much that you like don't notice this. All right, give me a little bit more. What is this opportunity? So, what what can Aries like? What is the advice with this? All right, because it seems really important. Like your whole read seems to be about it. <laughs> so, all right, tell me about this, please. What does Aries need to know? about any um, work and career situations. Yeah, there's an offer coming. Yeah, take a leap of faith. There, there's, a, there's an offer coming. So it's like, just make sure that you are paying attention to things, checking your email, you know, checking your spam box, all those types of things. Um, networking a little bit, you know, this week and speaking with people because there, there's an opportunity here that that's saying, yeah, you should go for this. All right. You should take the leap of faith towards this. This is a good move. Okay. Um, it may involve, like if you are a single female, then that's you receiving the opportunity. If you're not a single female, this could be offering it to a single female. All right. Uh, all right. So tell me about love. Why is love a little bit in reverse here as well? All right. So we have three of pentacles in reverse for Aries. What's going on there? Six of Wands. The Emperor. Wow. All right. Confident. And the Queen of Cups. Okay. So there may be a male energy that's like, hmm. All right. Because with the Six of Wands and the Emperor coming up, 
I, I would like to remind people too, this is not really a love reading to cross watch, by the way. So like if you are cross watching because you have an Aries male boyfriend or partner or something like that, please yeah, use that for the love readings, which I don't really like it there either. But, <laughs> but you know, not definitely not for these readings. These are, you know, definitely for the sun, you know, Aries. This is for Aries. All right. So, um, if there is an Aries male that you are involved with in love, not, I'm not saying now, if you are an Aries male watching this, there's a different, different scenario. All right. But if it is an Aries male that you happen to be, um, with or what have you, I just, I feel like they're being a little cocky this week. Uh, I feel like they're not really being on the same page with you. They may be, Kind of, I'm, I'm getting kind of lording something over you in a way. So, you yeah, know, heads up there. All right. If if it's not, okay, so, uh, like you're not an Aries who dates an Aries male. Okay. Then, because again, that's going to be like just a couple of you there. I would say, hmm. I feel like there's a chance to work things out and get on the same page, but there's there's the female energy here definitely has to look up and notice what's going on. So again, that seems to be your message. Like just really be present this week as much as possible. Don't don't be having the head down buried in work and not seeing the things that are around you because there could be love cropping up. There could be someone who's very confident and, and interesting coming in here, you know, but if you are sort of in a because both of these cards, the head is tilted downward like they're like this. You know, and not looking up and seeing the opportunities that could be around. Remember, we had that Four of Cups, which is a very similar card. Not seeing the opportunity that's literally coming out of the uh, the sky there, you know, which is verified right here. So there is an opportunity for you this week. It's definitely a time to, yeah, look again, that's your overall energy. Like open the eyes, see what's around you. Don't feel immobilized. Move forward as much as possible. I'm going to clarify your chain card. All right. And we're going to wrap this up. Friends and family. I mean, you have the, the Knight of Pentacles. So I'm just assuming, like I said, that this could be a possible plan that a friend or family member comes up with. It might be a slow to action plan, but it could be a very good plan. Uh, if it's not that, then it, it could just indicate there's a young male, all right, that may be seeking out some kind of opportunity you may hear about in your fam family or and or friends. Okay. So Four of Swords. Yeah, they've thought long and hard about something and they may be coming to you, uh, toward you about to talk about some kind of plan that they have. All right, so let me check chain. So you have chain of events that will affect your life. Tell me about chain. Been dying to meet you. Yay. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it's that song again. Just stuck in my head. All right, tell me about this for Aries. Ace of Wands. It's a good thing. You guys got some kind of opportunity coming towards you. I'm not worried about those reversals because quite frankly, I don't typically read reversals anyway. So eh, maybe they weren't. <laughs> All right. So it's like, let's go with that. I would say, yeah. Ooh, oh, okay. You may need the strength to end something in order to take this opportunity. That could be why you had some things in reverse. All right. So it's like, but I do see new opportunity here. This is a possibly a big week for you guys. All right. It's not everybody's reading, but nor it's possibly even a precursor to something to come like within the next 30 days or something like that. But it looks good. All right. The result will be good. Okay. So that's what I have for Aries. And I'm going to pull these aside. Okay. Taurus, let's see what's going on for you the next seven to 10 days. Oh, let's get your Oracle card here first for Taurus next seven to 10 days. Okay. Taurus, so you have, you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. Yay. <laughs> That's nice. All right. You also have carriage at the bottom of the deck too, which can indicate something about like travel. So that could be coming up or maybe that's what is talking. If you've been thinking about taking a trip or moving or a journey, uh, could be indicating you're on the right path. Let's see. Let's see what we have for you, Taurus. Okay, Taurus, next upcoming seven to 10 days, please. What is Taurus' message? There you are, Taurus. Uh-oh. <laughs> 
Who's checking you out secretly? Somebody. Okay. What what up, Taurus? Next seven to ten days, please. In all areas of um, our spread, please, Spirit. Thank you. Highest, clearest, predictive energy for Taurus. Okay. Ooh. All right. So, Page of Pentacles. So, busy studying something or you are getting some sort of communication. We'll clarify that. You have Virgo in family and or friends that could be prevalent. Ooh, hello, Nine of Cups. Hmm. Oh, hello, Ace of Cups. <laughs> Seriously? Let's see your overall energy. Okay. And there we go. All right. So let's see what is going on. So I, I saved your unexpected for the end. We'll look at that momentarily. You have a good reading. So this, and this confirms it. So it does say that you are on the right path in some aspect of your life. But the cool thing is it might be a couple different aspects of your life. I see possible love, new love coming in or some sort of love message coming in. Uh, or And also you have the nine of cups in your work and or career and or or finances, whichever one makes more sense for you. Like if you're retired, it would be finances, right? If it's work and career, you have the nine of cups. You also have the page of pentacles in your um, kind of like how you're feeling. So it's like, you are feeling like studying something or learning something new or feeling you're like you're okay with being an apprentice to learn something. You might even be excited about it this week. Okay. If that doesn't make sense, then cause it, it can be the student type card, right? So if it's not that, then it's, you're just feeling good cause you have some kind of offer or communication that has come in and it's um, you're, you're inquisitive about it is what I see. Family and friends, you have the hermit. So I don't feel like there's too much going on here, but it is a major arcana, so I will pull another card to clarify just in case. All right. Uh, the Hermit would just mean possibly, like I said, a Virgo could be prevalent in your life this week, if that makes sense for your family and or friends. Or it's just uh, saying to pay attention to the wisdom. There may be like someone giving you really good, wise advice in your family and or friend sector. Uh, Nine of Cups, again, like I said, in your work and career. So, you know, wish away, you know, definitely, you know, put out, put your wishes out there. Um, it, it could, most likely it means like something is starting to come into fruition for you in regards to something you've already been creating and trying to manifest in your life. So that, that's a good sign you're you're on the right track, like, like the card says, which is excellent. Your overall energy is the eight of pentacles. So I do feel like you um, have, you have some kind of, it feels like you are, it's weird. I'm getting the, I'm getting the wrong phrase, but in my head, like I'm, I'm almost getting like putting the last nail in the coffin, which that's usually not a good phrase, right? That's usually like a bad phrase. Like, oh, something's done. You know, it's like the last nail in the coffin, but I am getting that phrase, but in a good way. So I, I, maybe you're ending something, finishing up something so that you can escalate to something else. And you're putting the finishing touches on something this week is more or less what I'm getting, or you're getting ready to strategically think that way in some way. Now, here's the fun part. All right. We got, well, not that everything else has been fun too, but you also have the Ace of Cups in the love sector. So we'll take a look at that. Let me look at your, oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I'll, we'll look at that unexpected a little bit more in a minute. Okay. Uh, let's see. All right. So tell me about, um, let's clarify the, the hermit, see if that's anything of, um, note here in particular in the friends and or family so what does uh taurus need to know about the hermit here in this position yeah i feel like somebody is going to give you good advice or you are going to be uh giving good advice all right because the it is your card it is the empress uh this could also indicate a mother that has really good advice for you because the empress even though it is a card for taurus so it's probably you but it's in the sector of friends and or family so now yeah, uh it, it could absolutely be a mother or just someone with some wisdom or you are being very in the empress vibes and and the doling out good wisdom to someone in that area. So you have two major arcana there. I would say pay attention to friends and or family and the things like the conversations that you hear this week, or if someone, uh, especially just 
seems like they want to talk or, you know, any of those things, or they're looking for your words of wisdom, you know, that, that kind of deal, because you do have two major arcana in this section. So mm, something pretty, you know, a pretty big deal could be going on in that department where you do want to pay attention. Okay, let's take a look at your Ace of Cups. Uh, I'll tell you, your unexpected card is the Devil card. All right, so that could go a lot of different ways, but I did take a peek at it. I'll go ahead and show it to you. Now, it could mean it's a Capricorn. All all right, so unexpectedly, there is a Capricorn that enters into your life. All right, possibly, but we'll, we'll clarify the devil card. Um, you know, because everything looks so awesome here. You know, you've got these bright cards, Page of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. We got the bright yellow on, on, on the Eight of Pentacles. We got the bright yellow Ace of Cups. We've got the your card coming out with the wise hermit and then the unexpected, boom. <laughs> Right, it's like not everything can all be pretty and yellow and bright. I guess uh, there's there's got to be a little little monkey wrench sometimes, but we'll see. I, maybe not. It could just be a Capricorn. All right, uh, let's see. So tell me about the Ace of Cups, please. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. The Hanged Man, possible Pisces. Knight of Cups. Okay, Sagittarius also possibly. So Pisces, Sagittarius, Capricorn uh, figured here could be. Uh, it does look like a love offer. Someone has either taken their time to think about something long and hard with the hanged man and then decided to move forward towards you, or this is your energy. You may be that way. Maybe you are the one who you wanted to put out a love offer, but you kind of weren't sure. You wanted to look at a few different perspectives and you decide to go forward with it, if it, that makes sense. All right. Uh, but most likely it's a new love offer that will be coming your way. And behind it, someone's given it some thought. So they didn't just like impulsively jump into something. They've actually put a little bit of thought into this and they are sincere from what I can see with the Ace of Cups and Knight of Cups. All right. So that is good. So let's clarify your devil card. All right. So why is the devil the unexpected? Why is the devil card the unexpected here for Taurus? Oh, okay. So some of you, it could be an ex or someone that you have been like waiting for a message from. Um, or if, honestly, that could be somebody brand new. Okay. So what's unexpected is there could be like a past connection, whomever this might be to you, like whomever, whomever your devil might be. All right. Um, and it might not even be love because it's in the unexpected. So it could be victim mentality thinking about something, or it could be, uh, oh, here comes that creepy uncle, <laughs> you know, again, I, you know, it could be anyone, right? But it's like, um, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> creepy uncle. <laughs> All right. uh, but I do feel like you're going to be hearing from someone that you weren't expecting to hear from. For most of you, though, I feel it's an ex. And it's, it's more, it's not that they're like the devil or anything like that. It's more that it's something like that surprises the devil out of you in a way, because it's like this, this seemed like it was long gone or like buried with the five of pentacles and the eight of cups and that sort of thing. So I do feel like that catches you off guard, but there is a sincere connection that I do see coming in. All right, for sure. Uh, okay, you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. I feel like that aspect would be work and career and also new love. I, I feel new, new things coming in. All right. Uh, okay, so that is Taurus. So let's take a look at Gemini. All right, Gemini, let's see what's going on for you. Tell me about, do I only have one green card in there? Yeah, I do. So that's not cool. Oh, and it's happiness. <laughs> happiness, more or less. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. So what do we have for, for a Gemini, please? Really? Okay. I see that one sticking out to you. Oh, you got a few here. Okay. Ooh. All right. You need to defend yourself. Torch and teapot. Okay. Let's see what these are about. And you have affairs with your family at the bottom of the, the deck as well. All right, so the first, that card that like kind of fell and all of that sort of thing, it says you need to defend yourself. So you may need to um, stand up for yourself this week in some fashion. We'll, we'll see what comes out with the tarot. Uh, and or, you know, those of you who are a little bit more magical, you know, need to protect your energy this week, that sort of thing. Well, always, but... <laughs> 
you know. Uh, let's see. You also have torch. It says spiritual. De- oh, okay. Spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. Hmm. Yeah. So definitely. Any those Gemini's that are into a more magical type energies and things like that, and definitely protection at this time. Okay, uh, let's see. You also have teapot, deep friendship with someone of the same sex. All right. So like if you're a female, it's a deep friendship with a female. If you're a male, a deep friendship with a male. Maybe you know talking over a, a pot of tea or something like that. All right, so let's see. So you got some interesting cards. Let me see what's going on. <sighs> Awareness and understanding. Okay. All right. I feel like someone will understand your situation. That's what I see. I feel like some of you may feel like you are on guard all the time or you need to defend yourself with something. And it could be like like some kind of, for some of you, it could be a little more cosmic. It could be very spiritual or, or very haunting or, you know, something like that. All right. For others of you, it, it may be more in the, you know, mundane world or, you know, family affairs, things like that. But I feel like, you know, over a good cup of tea, you know, figurative or something like that, you know, having a good conversation with a someone with like a deep friendship, or you may meet someone who becomes like a deep friend for you. Okay, so let's see what's going on uh, with you, Gemini. All right. So tell me about Gemini, please, for the next seven to 10 days. What's going on for Gemini? chariot card. So you're feeling like you're moving forward. All right. Or there's a cancer that's on your mind that you have feelings for that could be as well. But most likely this just means, you know, you feel like you are making progress because you have the seven of pentacles for the overall energy of your week. Seven of Pentacles is a lot of times a card of needing to, uh, well, not needing to, it, it's a card of assessment. So kind of feeling like you're at a little bit of a lull or a slowdown and you're starting to question some things or you you're thinking like you maybe need to assess some different areas possibly your career or love life or this or that or the other let's take a look though friends and family good okay and that makes sense because you do have this like nice card the deep friendship with someone um you know that's that's as you right so if you're female or you're a male or whatever gender you know you identify with here it's like they they will be like similar to you all right so i do feel like that is good you do have affairs with your family at the bottom oh look and great happiness also great happiness after that so i do feel like family is good all right that seems pretty copacetic for you the next seven to ten days now work and career you have the emperor so the emperor is definitely a card of taking charge and um taking leadership type energy unless it might be representing like your boss all right so we're going to look at that real quick and see and clarify that um for most of you though i feel like it is a message of needing to uh, be like the emperor when it comes to your work your career um you know unfortunately even as females in some way we do need to exhibit those more mm, and when I say this, I don't mean men. I'm just talking about masculine energy, all right? Masculine side of things a lot in our work and career and separate, like, everything else that's going on in our other type of life with our career, all right? Uh, so let's see. Yeah, five of swords. Somebody could be very, uh, honestly, I don't think it's you. Okay, yeah. I think that this is someone who is being very demanding is what I see. So they may be making unreasonable demands or my way or the highway demands. Um, I, I just, I don't know. I feel like the, if it's a, I, for most of you, I feel it's a boss and it's someone who they, they may be going through something that you don't realize. And so they could be acting like a total, 
<laughs> controlling jerk. Maybe they always are, but they might be even a little bit more than usual. I feel like maybe they're going through like a separation, a divorce or things at home or, you know, something like that that could make things a little bit worse for you. Uh, so it's like, I don't know. I just, I kind of get the sense there could be some ang angry vibes or resentment vibes going on around someone who's being too controlling over uh, work and career and or finances that that you are dealing with. All right. So it could be like a fatherly type figure too, if that makes sense for you. Uh, so I, I mean, at first my, I was thinking for some of you, it may need to be um, like, if none of that's going on. Your boss is pretty cool and he's not controlling or you don't have like, there's not somebody tied into your finances that's super controlling or angry all the time or something like that. Then it, it could be that it's like you kind of reassessing your work and career and it's like you you feel like you fought for a lot before and you've been disappointed but there is something about you stepping up and just separating things from a lot of other different things like an emperor would do and taking control of your kingdom if you will and i feel like that that is going to be very beneficial for you in that way but for the, most of you i think it's the boss thing. All right, that's what I'm getting. It's 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 a boss that's going through like they they just they're playing like mind games. They they have like so much going on behind the scenes that, that you may not be aware of and unfortunately that's spilling out into the workplace and they're just being like controlling and a jerk is basically what I see. Okay. So, let's take a look at love. All right. So, you've got the 9 of swords. That's your card, Gemini, but mm, it's not a great card. It's a card of being worried, concerned, up at night, not sure. You can't get something out of your head. All right, so let's see what's going on for this. Yeah, King of Swords. Wow. Let me just say this. I'm going to maybe give you guys a different spread. Because, uh, okay, there's a message here too. If you are a male Gemini watching this reading, um, let me look at your unexpected. Okay, if you are a male Gemini watching this reading, I feel like there is there's a need to reassess where you're at sure all right but there's there's a need to open up your heart all right and it's like because and i know that that sounds like oh yeah and tarot readers always say that or whatever but i mean these cards really <laughs> like that is actually what's needed all right it's not about thinking your way through something it's not about mental uh, mind f's that you keep tossing around it's it, you know it's uh, different ideas different this reassessing this reassessing that it's it's not about any of this it's not about like oh well i'm still pissed off because blah 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 before and oh i've been hurt before and i've been burned before and this and that and the other it's i mean it is about those things but it's it can't it, it, it needs to stop being about those things it needs to start being about like your heart and opening up to that because look what your unexpected is all right, this is where we move away from things from our head and our thoughts, okay? And we, we, we do our best to move away from all those things, those anxieties that are keeping us up at night and all of that, right? And we move towards what we are passionate about or what we romanticize about and what we, you know, what that's that more connected energy within us okay so that's the message i see there i feel like this is a male reading so i'm going to pick this up and we're going to do another reading so i would say males i mean if this is your week it's it's a lot of the same if you've been always like going through this anxious stuff and feeling like angry that you can't be the emperor that you want to be or like there's a lot of things that hold you back or this or that or the other um it's it's needing to move away from those things and move towards like the true like romance of life that you really do seek all right so not too much we can do there all right so let's see let's get a gemini female reading okay tell me about gemini females please all right tell me about gemini females gemini female energy what do we got going on for gemini's There we go. Hmm. Hello, King of Wands. <laughs> who dat? I don't know. All right. I'm just a tarot reader. Uh, I don't know who that is. Who dat? I don't know. You got something coming in soon. Okay. So I feel like this is like an eh week. That's what I see. Like, I don't see it's like a major oh my god week or, or any big... Oh, hold on. Sorry. <laughs> I get hung up 
I, I try to sit comfortably and then I get hung up on the rug that's below my feet and it drives me crazy. Let me look at your unexpected to see. Uh, yeah, I, okay. So this week, females, I don't feel like there's anything super exciting. However, I do think the beginning of something will be. All right. I, uh, with this. Oh, hello. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. All right. So it's like, because the Queen of Pentacles, like you're just feeling like the Queen of Pentacles, you know, the Queen of Pentacles just takes care of shit, you know, takes care of the kids, takes care of the bills, takes care of herself, whatever, you know, nothing really super exciting, right? Um, friends and or family, you do have the Queen of Swords. So there could be a particular air sign female that you're having a conversation with. Um, either that or maybe that's you, you know, because it is air sign female. Uh, you may be having a, um, I'm getting more of like a logical discussion with someone. So like kind of saying, well, here's the facts, you know, kind of thing. So I don't feel it's like a big, in other words, like I don't see big drama conversations with your friends or family uh, or anything like that. I think it would be something more just like talking over reasonable points of things. All right. That's what I see going on there. Uh, nothing, nothing too earth shattering. Work and career. I mean, you do have the fool card. So I would say that's your most exciting card out of this week. Well, maybe. I don't know. We're going to clarify this old page of cups and, you know, see who that who that king of wands is that's waiting to come in there. Uh, but a full card in your work, career slash finances area just means, you know, um, you know, maybe take some time. Like, I don't know. I'm kind of almost getting like play hooky for a day. You know, I, it's just a tarot reading, though, a general tarot, tarot reading on YouTube. You are your best judge of, of everything. OK, so if that doesn't feel right for you, obviously, no. But it almost kind of feels like that like uh just needing a day to just be you go on a hike go do what you like to do go shopping uh, whatever it is that you like to do uh or some of you just may be like excited about embarking on some kind of new journey in some way you're starting to get new ideas about things and you're feeling pretty free maybe some of you are taking a vacation or something like that too or just get get some time off of work that you weren't expecting so you feel a little more freer so uh, love, yeah, I don't know. You got the nine of wands. I feel like it's kind of same old, same old in that department. However, we do have this page of cups and then we do have this king of wands and then we do have this wheel of fortune. So things could be changing in that department, but the nine of wands typically in the love sector just means it's kind of the same old, same old, uh, a lot of just sort of like waiting for something to change or waiting for something to happen, that kind of deal. You're unexpected. You do have the four of cups. So the four of cups can mean like an offer coming towards you that you, you aren't really noticing or you're not, you're like, oh yeah, there's that, you know, but you're not really super into it. So let me see what this page of cups is and then we'll, we'll see a little bit more. All right. So tell me about the page of cups. I feel like there could be someone around your, like if you take a day off from work or something like that, I'm feeling like you may run into someone. All right. And I'm getting like hiking is specifically, I don't know. I mean, well, I don't know how safe that is, but <laughs> yeah, go hiking and you might run into someone. <laughs> All right. Some weirdo in the woods. No, um, no, like this is, this is copacet. Like it's a good thing. All right. Or like a walk or something like that. I don't know, I'm thinking of my old LA days when I used to like hike like Griffith Park and stuff like that. And, um, you know, you just meet people sometimes along the way. Tell me about this page of cups. Six of cups. Oh, okay. So this could be someone that you already know, or it could, this might have something to do with your ch children, something like that for some of you. I think it's kids. Okay. I think it's something to do with kids. I feel like some of you... I think like one of your children may be very, very sweet to you this week or something like that. And you weren't expecting it. That's uh, I, so I don't if that makes sense. Like if you have younger children, then I do feel like you like they they reach out in some way that's like you weren't expecting and or they give you a gift that you weren't expecting. And it's and it just kind of cheers you up if you have younger kids. If you have more adult kids, it, it could just mean like finally you hear from them or there's like they reach out or something along 
along those lines. I'm not getting romantic vibes off of this. So we're going to check your love reading separate because I did see that King of Wands and Wheel of Fortune. So I do think like you're, if you do have children, that will be more of a theme this week for you. Um, I feel like one of them will be apologizing or being sweet in some way. All right. One of them's annoyed. One of them's apologizing. <laughs> so if you have more than one kid, you know, they, it could be maybe they had a squabble and they're apologizing to you or something like that. Um, if you don't have kids, then I, it, it's probably like a just a good friend reaching out or something like that. Uh, it's a little nostalgic. Maybe they have a late birthday gift for you or something like that too. I'm getting that also that they, they sort of dropped the ball on your birthday. So now they're coming around and giving you a birthday gift if it's not like your kids. Okay. Tell me about love. What's going on with love? Nine of wands. Yeah, King of Wands. Oh, there he is. Oh, King of Pentacles. Hmm. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, and you got two pages. Interesting. Some of you have a guy around you that likes you, but you, you they're like a friend and you talk to them about like an ex or somebody that you're into, but they actually like you. So there's that too. All right. Tell me about this King of Wands. Anything going on with this this week? Or soon yeah the Sun oh it could be a Leo messages coming in or something that's gonna make you happy in the near future so I don't know if this is in the, in the next uh, seven to ten days but it will be soon all right that's what I see because eight of wands is pretty quick moving energy yeah this person wants to take you out or yeah treat you take you out on a date maybe even like you and the kids also I'm getting like if you do have children all right so if you don't don't worry the children part it, again it could just be something about friends or something of that nature coming in um, all right. So for some of you, it could be a Leo because we do have a King of Wands and the Sun card. Others of you, I think that this is just someone that they've been working like pretty hard. And now it's like, it feels like they have some time and they want to take you out and treat you, like take you to dinner, take you to, you know, treat you, treat you and the kids somewhere. Something like that is what I'm getting. So it looks like things will be better. I feel like this week is sort of just like, eh. You know, and then it's like, but there is a bright spot in your week is what I am seeing. All right. So let's see. That was Gemini. We are on to Cancers. Okay, Cancers. Let's see what we have for you, Cancers. What's going on for Cancer, please? Okay, Four Leaf Clover. Great good fortune. <laughs> And you have a turkey underneath the deck. Someone is behaving stupidly. <laughs> I'm sorry, Cancer. You know, you can't win them all. But hey, this is the card that came out. Let's go with that. All right. That, that one looks good. Okay. Is, isn't that just about right, though? It's like, great, good fortune, the four-leaf clover card. And then it's like, oh, and the turkey. <laughs> Someone is behaving stupidly. All right. So let's see what's up and going on with that. All right. So Great Good Fortune is your card. That is a fantastic card. So something lucky, fortuitous, something along those. Wow. As I cut the deck at the Eight of Wands and Ace of Wands and... Oh, I thought, is that your card? Nope, that is not your card. Okay. Well, someone in someone is acting stupidly. Okay. I did see that. All right. Um... All right, let's see what we got here. Something could happen this week that it's like really good luck for you in some way, but then someone isn't happy about that because it's like there could be, I don't, I don't get that it's jealousy, but it may like screw up their plan or their like, you know, something like that. So don't worry about that. You know, it's like if you have, let me tell you, Cancers, if you have something good coming in, <laughs> take it and run with it and enjoy it and be grateful for it and all those good things you know you can't we can't please everyone like in our circle in our family in our friend circles and and things like that and if we try to then we may miss certain things ourselves so it's like i do feel like something good is coming in for you and it's important to if somebody's behaving i i yeah i'm gonna change the wording on this it says stupidly but let's let's make it you know they're they're acting irrationally all right then it's it's like let 
let, let that r roll off your shoulders or what have you because it's enjoy enjoy your good good luck when you have it right okay uh, let's see okay so tell me what is going on for cancers please tell me about cancers well there you are yeah some kind of opportunity coming your way um getting or getting set up here in a good way for some kind of opportunity i feel yeah three of pentacles coming out interesting nice okay Ooh. all right okay <sighs> let's see so you have the full card crowning your reading so again this is like something that could it may have something to do with romantic love all right quite frankly because you have the ace of cups one of the other signs i've already done i can't remember who it was had the ace of cups in this position as well uh it might have been Horus, but I'm, I'm not 100% on that. Okay, so and they actually had the devil card in their reading as the unexpected, which is interesting. And your devil card is in your reading as well, but not in the unexpected. Let me see what your unexpected is. Okay, all right. So, so you have the three of pentacles. So I feel like you do feel like things are working out, that everything is on the same page. Everything's pretty copacetic in some way, especially in a, a, something around work, like not around love necessarily. We'll get to that separately because I feel like that's going to be a little bit separated from this reading. So in work and career, you may feel like everyone's on the same page and that sort of thing. However, I don't know if that's necessarily true. All right. And this could tie into this turkey card. So it's like someone could be... Um, being a little obsessive or possessive in a group setting at work, all right? Or they might just be acting, again, I, you know, possibly um, envious or I don't think, I don't get jealousy so much as just maybe like a possessiveness of some, or like a fear or worry or something like that. So there's, there's something here where someone may be trying to kabosh or squash you know some sort of good turn of events for you or something like that hopefully that comes to their senses and works out We're, we'll, we'll check that out a little more I'll, I'll do some clarifiers on that friends and or family you have the two of pentacles i feel like it's just sort of like a you're dancing the dance you know it's a delicate tightrope with both possibly and you're just sort of keeping things afloat and keeping things copacetic in that department. I don't feel like there's anything like real dramatic or anything going on there uh, at this time anyway. Uh, there could possibly be some decisions that are talked about this week. Sometimes the Two of Pentacles can mean about needing to make a choice or a decision. All right. Um, but I get it's more like you sort of walking like a... Uh, like a delicate line, you know, between these situations with family, with friends, that kind of deal. Uh, in your unexpected, I'll go ahead and show it to you now because it's nothing like that exciting. You have the seven of pentacles. So I don't think there's anything super unexpected uh, when it comes to like work or like if you've been trying to assess something a lot or you've been putting a lot of thought into something a lot. I don't think that that's really like that doesn't seem to be what's what's benefiting you right now what's benefiting you more is taking chances taking a leap of faith towards something being a little bit more risky with things you know that kind of deal uh you do have the ace of cups all right in your love sector so what better card could be there than the ace well two of cups right but you know ace of cups it, to me is is even better because it's it's the self you know, self-love card. So that is really nice. We're going to clarify a few things for you. Let's start with the devil card and see what's going on with that situation. And it's not necessarily the devil card. It could mean a Capricorn. You know, maybe there's a Capricorn uh, around your work, you know, and they're just going to be around more or something like that. But let's see. Let's clarify that and see what's going on with the devil card. Why is that in the work and or career sector, please? Okay. Eight of Cups. Ooh, no, I feel like you, because you're going to be ending something in order to start something different. Yeah, I do see that. All right, so a lot of you... Some of you may be going into real estate or purchasing real estate or something like that down the road. But anyway, um, it's like what I, what I see with this, the Devil card, Eight of Cups, and then Ten of Swords, King of Cups. 
I feel like you're making move. Some of you are making moves in your work career slash finances. All right, where it's like you're you're not going to fear this, that, or the other anymore, or you're you're going to leave like the heavy, dark energies uh the you know the victim mentality like oh my god this never works out this this sucks that sucks and the other and you're going to start seeing how that's not benefiting like work career finances and what have you and you're going to move forward more genuinely in a genuine approach and get more genuine offers with things so a lot of you have conquered you know if you've been working on like the victim mentality mindset of things and you know, I always, I'm always very delicate when I say that because, you know, I don't want people to think I'm just saying, oh, you have a victim mentality because I, it's like, usually people have a victim mentality mindset because sucky things happen to them, right? So it's like, I understand that. Um, but there's also something about getting too used to that and then creating a mental habit out of that. So some of you have beat that and you're moving towards like a new direction here. All right. You know, freedom. And that's going to bring other things into your life as well. All right. So that's really awesome. Um, others of you, I just feel like there's something here where there's something ending, but something new beginning. All right. And it's like, you're tired of being a name and number, you know, working for the man, you know, that kind of thing with the devil card here. And there could be some kind of new offer or something that you really love to do that's on its way. Um, let's clarify the Ace of Cups in your love sector and see what that is about. All right. So tell me about the Ace of Cups, please, for Cancers. Yeah. And don't forget, you have this as your overall um, Oracle card here. So which is, it says great good fortune. Uh, Ace of Cups. Also, too, for some of you, if there is like a turkey, remember that card that where someone's uh, being irrational or what have you, it could, you may find out that that person is moving, all right, and they're no longer, they're going to quit or they're going to be fired or, you know, something like that. And it's like, oh my God, because they, you know, you, remember that card somebody else is behaving you know badly or stupidly or what have you so and and it's like you may get offered something all right so that person may be leaving or you know something along those lines or your boss finally sees clearly what you've been trying to point out forever you know about someone or something like that you know that kind of deal uh, okay, so tell me about this Ace of Cups in Romantic Love, please, for Cancers. Okay, Six of Swords could be a distance person, though. Six of Swords is typically, yeah. So travel could be involved here for sure. Or someone, there's an offer to travel, all right, with the Ace of Cups. Six of Swords, Eight of Wands, all right, is definitely traveling. Could be short trips. For some of you, it's short trips. Eight of Wands can be short. Six of Swords can be very long distance travel, okay. Uh, it doesn't have to be distance or travel, but it probably is. All right. Um, Eight of Pentacles. All right. So yeah, something about a home or there could even be like an event or something like that also to like travel to or like you go to a wedding or, you know, something along those lines. It's like, and then possibly you meet somebody there that is like your person. All right. So like if you, any of you are traveling for work or you're traveling for uh, like an event or like a mayor, uh, wedding or anything along those lines. Yeah, I would go, I would be the full card and take that leap of faith because it's like, you may find like your person or something like, or something that you really love by doing that. All right. It's showing up in your romantic love sector though. So I would say yes. All right. Uh, okay. So I would say, so overall your week, I mean, you do have good fortune. That's good. It does require you though, I feel to have this lighter type of energy about you to have that fool like quality, that innocent child leaping into fun things and not turning down everything that comes across your path or like, oh no, I'm too tired to do that. Or, oh, I'd, you know, I'd rather stay home and watch Netflix or, you know, it's like go out and do stuff. And, and, you know, if it comes up, obviously, you know, we can't force ourselves to, to just like create happiness or anything like that. But for those of you that feel like, like your energy is starting to switch up then yeah look look up selective bias and learn about that and you'll see that as you are looking for more opportunities and and things like that and you're training your brain then it's like you're going to start spotting more opportunity okay so that's what i see going on for you this next seven to ten days okay so we are on to leos all right leos let's see what's going on for leo Okay, tell me about Leo's, please. Nope. Okay. So we have Harp, Great Happiness. Very nice. Should we just leave it there or are we going to get another one? Is that it? Oh, we got one more. All right. And Apple, 
Let's see, which says, oh, actually now I'm hungry because look at the bottom, it's a wedge of cheese. <laughs> and then fruit, fruit and cheese are, I love fruit and cheese. Okay, let's see, apple. Temptation will test you. Hmm. Tempted by the fruit of another. All right, and you've got harp, great happiness. Hmm. All right, great happiness and temptation will test you. Let me see what Wedge says. All right. Someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something you want. Hmm. So watch out for people trying to, you know, drive a wedge into things. All right. Uh, so careful of that. But that's later. I feel like that's at the bottom of the deck. Your main cards right now are great happiness and temptation will test you, though. Okay. So let's see what's going on for Leo's. Leo. Leo, please. Leo. Whew. <laughs> wow. Right on, Leo. Okay. Okay. One more. Boom. Yeah. Two of cups. Okay. So you're feeling like the magician this week. So that's fantastic. So you're feeling like you are, uh, that you've just, you've got that Leo touch, you know, that golden touch or that Midas touch, if you will, um, this week, or if you're not feeling it yet, you know, you give it, give yourself time. I feel like you will. Your overall energy could have something to do with choices and decisions. You may be weighing out a lot of pros and cons or a lot of options with something, I feel. You have the six of wands here in family and or friends. I feel like there's something here like that you are, that's coming together and that like your family and friends are acknowledging it going, oh my gosh, yay, Leo, you are manifesting and you are accomplishing something. So I do feel like there's... Um, Family and friends, I feel, are happy for you in some way, or they may they may like approve of what you're doing. I don't know. Some of you are wanting to manifest like just you know completely different things. Maybe you you're wanting a new look, or some of you are wanting a new car, or some of you are wanting to move and live somewhere else, and you know it's like or start a new business or something like that. I feel like family and friends like they're proud of you is what I'm getting. All right, I don't feel like they're jealous or anything like that. However. <laughs> Okay, here's the caveat. All right, um, I do feel like possibly someone in your work sector is, or or someone doesn't trust you, or you don't trust someone. But I'm I'm almost getting someone doesn't trust you in a work scenario with the Page of Swords. Like they're spying, or they're trying to do their due diligence on you, something like that. Because I just kind of let me see what. You, yeah, all right, because it may have something to do with, like, work and career in some way. And it's, like, someone may be, like, trying to find out, like, just more information or something along those lines. All right. Um, I don't think it's any, anything that will... Like, uh, okay, like, in other words, if it's an annoying coworker and they're, like, trying to figure out what you're working on all the time or they're trying to um, take your ideas or, you know, whatever, you know, stuff like that or whatever, just an annoying coworker in general. <laughs> All right, because the Page of Swords to me is the annoying card, right? There, it's, it's somebody who's like kind of a pest or something like that, right? So it's like, I just kind of, they and, and they like send 50 million messages and things like that when one would just do, you know? So I, I just kind of get the sense, like if that's you, you're just like kind of swatting these things away and you're not really paying any attention to them. If it's someone doing this, like to, or, or like you are annoyed by this person or what have you, I just kind of, kind of sense like it'll it'll mend itself on its own like I don't in other words what I'm saying is I don't feel it's a big deal all right there's just like a possible annoyance around the work sector for you um this week okay uh let's see 
Unexpected. I don't think anything's really unexpected this week. I, I just feel like it's a good week for you to make good, you know, make your decisions based on what you really want to create in your life. So if you've been wrestling with a lot of things back and forth, like, I don't know, should I keep doing this? Or should I keep doing this? Or should I keep doing that? Or should I stay with this person? Should I, you know, all those types of things. If you've been wrestling with that stuff, I don't feel like that's going to totally go away this week or anything like that. But I do think that you are starting to realize like that you do have that you do play a really huge role in this decision-making process with the, with like a co-creating kind of vibe with the universe. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I feel like you are going to kind of get back on the horse again and your friends and family are going to be proud of you or excited for you in some way. All right. So I just feel like you are, you've got some good ideas and you're manifesting some new things and you're, you are not letting things get to you as much anymore. The temptation will test you is interesting. All right, so we'll look at that. The great happiness, I feel you're on your way to that. That's what what I'm seeing with the magician and the six of wands. And you also have the ace of swords, which is victory. But now this is showing up in the love sector though. Sometimes the ace of swords can mean like cutting something out and maybe that's why they're proud of you. <laughs> you know, maybe it's you know, maybe it's like time that you became the magician and, and said, screw this, I'm not gonna put up with this anymore. But let's see, let's clarify. Because Ace of Swords can mean a lot of things. It can just mean having a great conversation, gaining clarity from someone, or like finding an online connection, something like that. So let's clarify, what is the Ace of Swords here for uh, Leo? Oh my God, <laughs> Leo. <laughs> I clarified it. I thought I was pulling one card. I pulled two cards. They're all Aces. Wow. Uh, aces, 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 Aces. <laughs> All right, as Twin Peaks, uh, Kyle McLaughlin would say, right? Didn't he say aces a lot? Uh, that's always been one of my favorite phrases. So there you go. Well, all right, three aces. Uh, Leo's, yeah, there's your great happiness, okay? And and it's like the harp card. So it's that, that's even more like... <laughs> cheesy romance romanticism romanticism here so it's like like the harps the angels are gonna like you know play the harp for you and your oh you know your new love find here um i do feel love is coming in for you guys for sure uh some of you it's an online connection with the ace of swords if it's not um an online connection then the ace of swords can just mean like really having an amazing conversation with someone it just clicks not only is there the magnetism and passion but there's also like more of a uh, deeper connection with this person and a cerebral connection with this person so fantastic you know i feel like that is really good and there is the possibility here for great happiness with a love scenario that is on on par for you um let's see what the temptation will test you though Could also mean, I, you know, some of you, like if you're with somebody already, you know, and it's like you might be tempted, you know, by, um, yeah, wow, because I started singing that song at the beginning. Like that's the first song that came into my head. Tempted by the fruit of another. Yeah, so you guys, you might be finding yourself tempted as someone else, possibly. It doesn't necessarily mean you're, you're going to go through with it or they will or what have you, because it could be them. Maybe they're with somebody, but they're tempted towards you or vice versa. It doesn't necessarily mean it's going to come into play. Um, the world card. This is pretty big, you guys. I don't know. I feel like this could be, though actually be somebody that is like a major player in your world. All right. Like there's a new cycle for you. I feel like it's the beginning of something here that is uh, that is going to... Yeah, somebody's coming in. Yeah, and it, it, yeah, wow. There's your card, the sun. Yeah, uh, air sign possibly. Uh, we have Cancer and Pisces here as well. Possibly even another Leo. And I have males and females here, so it could be either or. So, because I got kings, queens, I got the, the sun card. I've got this Knight of Wands here. Yeah, another Knight of Pentacles, a Chariot card, a High Priestess card, a lot of cards. So I do feel like something is coming in that you will be tempted for. <clears throat> I would say stay away from old cycles that do not serve you, all right? And really pay attention to new because aces are about new, new things. They're not about like, you know, that 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 on-off relationship for 20 million years where, you know, it's like, 
oh, I don't know. Maybe I should give them another chance. <laughs> Maybe I won't find anybody else. You know, all those things that, that you know, people tell themselves. It's like, hell no. Mm -mm. You've got three aces here. This is about new. All right, for sure. Wow, Leo, that's pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that was Leo. Let's go to, uh, we are on to Virgos. All right, Virgo. Let's see what is going on for Virgos this week. Tell me oh, about, now really, it fell on the floor and it's like really far away. I'm going to try and get it with my foot. Ooh, I did it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and it's lightning. All right. Ooh. Oh, somebody else had this last week. I think it was Leo's. And we, we were cracking up because who wants to make a Leo crazy and ha and mean or angry or whatever? And it says, control your angry anger or you will be sorry. Uh-oh. Okay, so lightning card. And then you have also firecracker when I set down the deck to go pick up the lightning card. All right, which says excitement. So, yeah, I would say, like, be careful of short fuses, short-tempered things, stuff like that. All right, this week. Um, anything else? For Virgo. Okay, so you have the dog card, which says pleasure with a close friend. So yeah, if anything riles, riles you up this week or something like that, like it, we're going to check out the tarot now, if it's like family, friends, or work, or anything like that related, try, you know, I, I mean, it's suggesting, you know, you don't have to, you do whatever you want, right? It's just a general reading on YouTube, but it's saying kind of try to, you know, watch that short fuse with someone or something uh, this week, and maybe you can uh, talk to a close friend or something like that to kind of calm down from the situation or what have you, even if you're not the type that usually just like pops off or something like that. Um, you know, I mean, I think that's possible for anybody, you know, I know I'm, I can be like that, you know, I'm super chill, really chill, like, I can take a lot, <laughs> like, people can, like, be all upset and yelling and this and that and the other, and, and I can just, you know, okay, I see your point, and, you know, <laughs> things like that, but there are certain times, you know, where it's, it's like, mm, you know, I've had enough, and, and I can, I can definitely, uh, people are surprised, <laughs> what a what a firecracker I can be you know at, at times it's only happened like two times in my life but you know it, it can happen <laughs> so even if you're pretty chill usually I would say this is a good week to really keep keep things because it does say to be careful of it because you'll be sorry uh, you know if you if you end up getting like really angry at something and there may be like a lot of excitement or something in the air you you know want to be careful and, and not get too angry or anything like that okay so that's covered let's see what your tarot cards have to say all right for this coming week next seven to ten days okay what is going on for virgo please virgo Oh, King of Swords. Yeah, King of Swords can can tick people off sometimes because they don't open up. So, all right. Okay, I'm going to make this one short because I feel like this is a male reading and I feel like it was very tied into the other male reading I did. So maybe they're watching two placements. I think it was Gemini or something like that. All right, so yeah, I would say if you are a male, and that doesn't mean that that mes same message doesn't go for females, all right? Because that message could absolutely be for females, but we're going to do your your guys' reading separately because I've got all male cards here. So I feel, and, and it's topped off with the Five of Swords, which is the Anger card. So um, definitely, you know, the... Um, What's unexpected is the Four of Pentacles. So the unexpected is to hold back, to refrain, to to not get angry at something. Because the Five of Swords is about getting angry and uh, you know letting letting somebody have it in a way, uh, and and especially around work and career. You may because that's where it's, it says watch your anger or you may be sorry. And it's showing you know Nine of Swords can be where you have worries about your. Um, 
work, career, finances, something along those lines, because in your feelings, you're feeling like the King of Swords. So it's like the King of Swords is, is not really getting in touch with the emotions or anything like that. And they're very um, cut and dry um cutting things out and they can be uh, you know they at times they can be a little brutal with their words and things not usually but with combined with all these other cards i'm seeing i feel like that could happen so um in friends and or family uh you do have the chariot card which is the sign for cancers so may, there may be a cancer in the friends and or family that could be a close friend that could um be very beneficial for you right now especially cancers they do they do typically have a good way of of um calming us down or giving us good rational advice and things like that so if there is a cancer in your vicinity that may be somebody to talk with i just feel like anger could be like a bit of a problem here and then you have justice in the love department so the other thing is to i don't know I've re i'm not really liking this reading that much because it you know, you never know who's out there kind of thing and or who I'm dealing with, you know, but this is something where with justice in the love sector, like especially, okay, the, the other thing is too, God, and I, I hate delivering messages like this, but you know what, this is kind of, you know, we got to do this stuff. So for some of you females, if you have a very firecracker type of male that, that yells, gets a little out of hand, maybe a lot out of hand, um badly <laughs> all right then just as showing up in the love department because this can have things to do with the law all right so and it's like i don't know there could be something here where like if, if this is going to provoke this person and you already know that they're like ter you know that they act terribly or something like that i don't know maybe it's time to Again, it's a general tarot reading. You do what you do, but, you know, maybe get the law involved or something like that. Got Ace of Swords underneath the deck, too. A lot of cards about law and that sort of thing. So, I mean, if if whomever I'm reading this for, I feel like it's a very specific message that if you feel like that could be where the police could possibly get involved or something could go really drastically south or wrong or something like that, I feel like that's what this message is saying. All right, so be very cautious. And the unexpected may be to hold back, not be that way. You know, keep keep your cool with something, all right? Um, especially if it has something to do with a car or anything like that. All right. So I'm going to pull this up and we're going to get another message for you because obviously that's not everyone's message. <coughs> Just a few or maybe one or two people. Okay. So tell me, what do we have for Virgo, please? Next seven to ten days. Next seven to ten days. Tell me about Virgos. Tell me about Virgo females, please. What's going on for Virgo females? Virgo. Yeah, that's funny because I saw this card flipping by. I was going to say some of you may be interested in a Sagittarius or an Aquarius. And then because I saw them flip by and I didn't say it. Now I kind of wish I would have because look, they ended up at the bottom of the deck as well. So somebody could be like wanting to move towards you, I feel. So they may be very attracted to you. This person may be a Sagittarius or an Aquarius. Or this is saying like around Sagittarius season, like they're 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 trying to set a goal to ask you out or something like that and come forward. Uh, so there's that. All right, that's at the that's that's a whole different story though. So let's see what's going on here. So you have the Eight of Cups, okay, as your overall energy, but you're feeling really good. All right, you have the uh, Empress card as your feet in your feelings department this week. So the Empress is a card of self care, nurturing, self respect, uh, feeling very you know caring and all of those types of responsible in a good way, in a loving way, all those things. So I feel like you're in a good um, good energy this week. You may even be pampering yourself a little bit or, you know, taking it easy, something like that. Uh, either that or it is the mother card, pregnancy card too at sometimes, you know, if that makes sense. But uh, so it could be like that is someone who is heavily on your mind at this time or a Taurus in particular. Uh, friends and or family, you have the Seven of Pentacles. So I feel like someone is really trying to, there's a male energy here who is kind of stuck. 
So I don't know if that's a son, if it's a boyfriend. Well, no, because that'd be in the love department. So we'll keep it at family and friends. That's what this department is. Um, there's a male energy here that feels like they're just constantly doing something but not making any headway so i don't know maybe there's something that you can help them with or cheer them up with or you know something like that or help them with a little bit of direction or some you know something along those lines if that feels appropriate that's up to you uh let's see i'll clarify that maybe a little bit we'll see um in the work career finances area you have 10 of cups so things like at work should feel pretty good this week because i always when i see this card show up in a, like a career environment uh then i look at it as more as if it's feeling like family this week so it, it could just mean like you guys are all getting along this week and it feels more like a work family like it should uh either that or <laughs> you know just things in general for you are like nothing's really bothering you this week so even if they if it normally bothers you like nothing this week is really bothering you because you you feel pretty good you know i don't know i feel like some of you have been pampering yourself a little extra or something like that so like you feel okay with things um in romantic love you do have this king of pentacles so we'll clarify that that could be someone coming in or just more confirmation that your the, your person is going to be around let's see what your your unexpected is the hanged man so i don't think there's anything massively unexpected this week but there may be a need to look at something from a different perspective so let's clarify some of your cards and see what's going on <clears throat> okay coming in for you that you're not seeing yet okay this is going to turn the wheel in as far as romantic love all right yeah <laughs> wow are they ever okay this is what's at the bottom of the deck after i just put down the wheel of fortune on your love clarification cards all right so it's like there's an offer coming in you may not see it quite yet for what it is because i see the two, two of swords here too and but it's like behind this offer is possibly what you're wishing for here what what you need to heal what you need to move past a karmic situation this is going to be a karmic coming in in a good way all right so it's not like a karmic coming in to like teach you some hellish lesson for like waste your time well not waste nothing ever waste our time but you know tie you up for years <laughs> well that could be fun no, i'm just kidding <laughs> no it's like this is going to be a good karmic all right you don't see this yet though so this person's coming in i feel like the spirit's giving you this to just let you know like hey something's coming in it's like it, your week might not be that exciting now but it's like although career looks pretty good um but like there is something good that is coming in all right in the near future so it's like things are starting to change it's like something's starting to get balanced now if you already have a person this could just be saying that like you may not see it now but things are working out for you it's like they're they're going to start changing and it's like things are going to be balanced in a karmic way with the justice card here and it's something that you're hoping for wishing for with the star card and with the wheel of fortune things are starting to go in your favor all right so that's that's good right now it may not feel like that because it's like with the eight of cups and the seven of swords i don't know i kind of get the sense like you maybe you had to walk away from somebody and but they're still kind of keeping tabs on you they're kind of you're kind of keeping tabs on them you know something like that but it's like what you don't see is like something is going to change now as far as friends and family when i clarified that seven of pentacles about whomever this uh, energy is i feel like this person they're just like at this energy of like a lot of someone in your friends and or family has spiritual change that needs to happen all right so they may need like some kind of um, direction or a little bit of a push or something like that i feel like they're stuck and i feel like they have a lot of good ideas they have a lot of this that the other but it's like there's nothing that's really propelling them forward so they may need a little you know extra extra encouragement or shove or something like that work and career you have great cards the sun and the ten of cups hold on one second i'm going to close the door because i can i can tell there's a uh, there's going to be a little bit of noise here in a moment. Uh, my roommates, uh, one of them just got back from Australia. So <laughs> and literally been gone for months. So I'm going to close the door here. Okay. 
All right, so it might get a little noisy here, but let's see. Um, Anything else? You know what? Let's pull you guys an Oracle card because I feel like you guys kind of got cheated with the last one because that other one was definitely for somebody else. So let's get an Oracle card for you. I think work and career, again, finances, whatever that means, could be like really like improving or just feel like really good right now. Like just feels like it's really in a good place for you. Oh my gosh, that's nice. You have the Peacock card. Ooh, it does say beware of great pride. All right, so like not wanting to show off too much or anything like that or peacock around all right we don't want to do that too much I don't see you doing that necessarily I mean maybe the Empress could be a little bit that way but not really um, okay anything else and we have butterfly a change is for the better so yeah I definitely think change is on the horizon here and it, it is going to be for the better for sure I do see that wheel of fortune nine of cups justice star card <laughs> absolutely all right and i feel like that's in the love department uh okay so that was virgo so we will head to libra okay libra let's see what's going on for you week ahead tell me about libra oh okay something flipped around in there let's get that scissors. Ooh, disappointment in something. All right, let's see. Uh, let's get one more for Libras, please. Libra. Oh, there it goes. Period. Oh, yeah. All right. You do have a little something going on. All right. But you're highly thought of. All right. That is at the bottom of the deck. And that's nice to know. That's a positive card. It means someone is like, does think highly of you and they are thinking of you. But you do have this card. It says disappointments in some affair and then period of frustration. But there's lessons to be learned. Okay. So we have scissors and funnel. All right. So let's see what that is about. Uh, let's see. So tell me about Libra, please. What is going on for their week ahead for Libra? Okay. Let's see. What do we got? Libra. Seven to ten days. All right. One more shuffle. That should do it. And we'll get it going here. All right. Libra. Yep. All right. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune, though. All right. So that's good uh let's see three of pentacles oh okay all right so it may have something to do with like relationships or something along those lines where some of you are starting to see like mm, somebody doesn't give as much to this as i thought or i'm giving way too much or there's some kind of realization here and i feel like that's more of like the the disappointment or the period of frustration and there's lessons to be learned a lot of times it's like we didn't see something that was right in front of us and sometimes when we think that a relationship isn't really equal give and take it's it, uh, sometimes it is but it's just it's not what we necessarily want like sometimes a person does give a lot but it's not like in the way that we want them to so for instance it's like what i mean by that is they could treat you to dinner a lot let's say okay they take you out to dinner time and time again well so to them it's like they feel they're giving a lot right and but the, to you it's like you don't care if they take you to dinner it's like you know you'd you'd rather have um you know cuddles on the couch or whatever you know what i'm saying so it's like sometimes like people do think they're giving but it's like it just depends on how you feel so there's something about like some kind of lesson there i feel that is causing some sort of frustration in a relationship where it doesn't feel like it's equal give and take but then it's like maybe it really is it's just not in the ways that you guys want it to be so maybe you guys aren't giving each other what you both would like or receiving you know what i'm saying like that that kind of thing um because you have a pretty good reading you have the wheel of fortune here so you feel like things are starting to change you feel you feel like that things are are turning in some direction uh your work and career looks pretty good you have the three of pentacles so there could be new projects starting up or you might be part of a smaller team this coming week or working closely with a couple others or a few others or something like that maybe tasked you know in into a special team or something like that i feel like you you will work well with these others if something like that occurs or you know just it's just good you know good work is good you know with the three of pentacles nothing nothing major you have the queen of cups for your overall energy mm. 
Queen of Cups tends to be in her head a little bit too much, maybe a little bit more in the emotions. Um, again, I feel like it's it's more love related because you have the world card in the romantic love sector of this reading. So there could have been like a feeling like a completion or something. This could even be, you know, maybe this is the week that you receive your divorce papers or the week that you filed for separation or, you know, something like that. All right, for some of you, obviously not for all of you. Or just feeling, like I said, that other thing, like like having these realizations like, oh man, I, I don't think we have a good equal recipro reciprocity in our relationship or something like that. But again, it, it might be, it's just not in the way you guys possibly need to communicate better about like what it is that, that they would like to receive, what you'd like to receive, that sort of thing. Um, friends and or family, seven of pentacles, nothing big there either. You know, I just feel like there's, um, somebody's just maybe feel like they, they are doing a lot of the work or they feel a little burned out or something like that. It could be, and you know, I, I'm getting it's more family than it is friends, but who knows? I mean, look at your unexpected. Yeah, nothing here either that's really that unexpected, I feel. The two of wands. I feel like this is a fairly non-eventful week, all right? But it doesn't have to be, okay? That's the thing. That's why we look at these, because you do have the Wheel of Fortune here. So the Wheel of Fortune is all about, uh, A, it's a very good card. It's a good fortuitous card of good fortune, all right? But it's also a card of getting into, like, the energy of allowing things to to turn, to change. So I would suggest, like, looking up more this week, all right? Instead of, like, looking down downward, like, literally, like, look up, you know? Uh, more for opportunity and expect to see better things. Uh, I also feel with the unexpected, with the two of wands, um, unexpectedly someone could be making a choice or something along those lines you may hear about. I, I feel like this would be maybe more work or career oriented, not necessarily romantic love. Um, it's possible it's romantic love. If so, it might be someone from a different culture than you or at a distance from you, all right, that you may hear from. So that's what I got. I feel like, yeah, this week is just sort of eh, all right? But it's like, don't let that, that doesn't have to be the standard. Like if you're watching this and you're like, oh great, I'm not gonna have a very good week. No, that's not true. You have Wheel of Fortune, you have Three of Pentacles, you have the World card, <coughs> pardon me. You have some really good cards, but it's more of a, it's up to you to make it a more dynamic week is what I am seeing, okay? <clears throat> Water time. All right, I'm gonna move on to Scorpio now. Okay, Scorpio, let's see what's going on for you next seven to ten days. Scorpio. All right, what do we got going on for Scorpio, please? Okay. Ear, good news. Hmm. All right, so keep your ear to the ground, Scorpio. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. What do we have at the, ooh, nice. Family wishes coming true at the bottom of the deck. All right. So, and it's a well, like a wishing well. Something. Oh, look at that. And then you have a bell announcement also. So there could be something like, maybe there's, you know, somebody in the family having a baby or something exciting or something like that. If you've been like wishing for that or, you know, what have you. Um, but uh, others of you, there's good news coming. Okay, so let's see what we have for you you Scorpio. It's so going to be a little bit noisy in the background. Um, uh, my roommate just returned from Australia for a month. So, uh, and there's some, uh, some of their family over and things like that. So it might be a little noisy, but we'll kick through. All right. So what do we got for Scorpio, please? Tell me about Scorpio. Next seven to 10 days for Scorpio. <clears throat> What do we have going on? Please, highest and clearest prediction energy for Scorpio. Wow, that just fell right out. All right, so you're feeling good. Like, yeah, I do. I feel like you guys are, are receiving some good news. It could be something about, like, um, uh, financial uh, support or something like that or just some kind of something that balances the scales, whatever that may mean, all right, uh, is what I see. Uh, Eight of Pentacles in your friends and or family sector. I'm going for two cards here. Okay. Okay. Um, um, all right. And yeah, there's the announcement. Okay. And oh yeah. Okay. So Scorpio, this, yeah, this looks like a good, a good week for you. Something kind of exciting. I do see like your Oracle cards matching as far as like some kind of announcement or something like that. Oh yeah. Look at that. Wow. For sure. All right. Underneath the deck. Um, okay. So you're feeling like things are fair, balanced, 
uh, with the Six of Pentacles. This is showing up in your feelings for the week. So you feel like something is good or, or things are starting to, like I said, like balance. The scales are being balanced. Your overall energy is the Three of Pentacles. So it does feel like uh, everybody's getting on the same page with something or everybody seems to be working well together with each other in some capacity, whatever that could mean. That could mean in your family, your friends, your work, whatever, or all of those areas, that kind of deal. Uh, family and friends, you have the Eight of Pentacles. So I feel like somebody may be like very busy working on something, uh, not really available as much or uh, I would say too, like if you have kids like that are older, like teenagers or something like that, um, you know, be careful that they're not getting too, you know, it was hard for us to say that because us Scorpios are totally like, I, I swear to God, this card should be for Scorpio. It's, it's Virgo's card, but it's like, we can get like really, um, like a hermit and work on our projects and, and get super involved in them. Right. And it's like, but somehow I'm feeling though, like, like if it's a, like a son or a uh, child or something like that, like not to let them get too obsessed, like make sure like maybe they got a new video game or something and they're spending like 16 hours on it or you know what I'd say. It's like something like that. All right. Um, pretty obscure. That's not going to be for everybody. But other than that, I don't see anything like really major in that department. So we'll go to your work and career. Now you have the page. Or, I'm sorry, <laughs> page, <laughs> the king of wands here. And it's like, I do sense that there's, there's someone on their back to do something. Okay, because you do have a page here too. You have this page of swords and it kind of came out with two cards instead of one. So I feel like this person um, is is like trying to push this person to doing something is what I get. So it's this could be you. Someone may be trying to that keeps poking you like, yes, do that thing, do that, do that, you know, something like that. And you finally take action as a king of wands and do it. Uh, or it could be like, if this is a boss or something like that, somebody keeps, maybe that's you, maybe that's you, you keep poking them and saying, hey, 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 <laughs> you know, what about me? What about me? Or something like that. And they finally say, okay, you know, like, what is that? Um, the squeaky squeaky wheel or I don't know whatever gets the grease or something like that so that's going to apply to different situations in your work and career so you know yourself better obviously and you know there's a lot of people watching this so it's either that you need to be the squeaky wheel all right because uh, that squeaky wheel gets the attention of the boss or the king of wands or you know what have you or um that maybe if you are more of the one that's like the boss or something like that, there may be somebody that's like trying to get your attention in some way. This could annoy you or it could, maybe they got a valid point. <laughs> All right. And there could be something there for you. In romantic love, you have the page of pentacles. So I think the potential is there. And it's, it's funny too, because I took a peek at your unexpected for the week. And you actually do have something unexpected this week. So a lot of the readings, they've been sort of like, eh, you know, not really anybody showing up with anything too unexpected, but a couple of them did. Yours is one of them. You know, there's some sort of messages or quick moving energy that could be unexpected this week. Uh, it could also mean short trips or short travel that's unexpected this week. But I feel it's good news and because you have this ear card that says good news let's say you're going to hear about something some kind of good news here now this may possibly be tied into romantic love because you do have the page of pentacles i get this as more of like a date you know with the three of cups and it's it's a dreamy date you like it you know kind of thing or um or just talking with someone, uh, you hit it off or something like that. The potential is there. Uh, who knows where it goes from there, but like there's potential is what I am seeing. So I feel like this is a really good week for you and that it's starting to feel like things are falling into place. And um, I really like the family wish that comes true. I think that's really cool. And it may have something to do with maybe the, even like uh, someone who has their own business within the family. So that they've been like working hard on it and everybody's been like wishing them well or something like that. Well, yeah, they, they could be, you know, doing well also or get some really good news also, which makes you happy as well. But it's like, there's plenty like to go around. I feel like there's good news for you. There's good news for the family. There's just good news, <laughs> all right, is, is what I am seeing. So it looks like a good week and there may be some unexpected messages coming your way or unexpected news about short trips or travel coming your way. All right. So that was Scorpio. So we are on to Sagittarius. All right. Let's see what's going on for you, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, please. Okay. So you have the cat 
Ooh, a two-faced friend. Uh-oh. I don't like that one. And an angel. <laughs> All right. Let's see what's that. What is that about? Okay. So yeah, you do have a two-faced friend came out, and then you also have this angel card. Oh, uh, which sorry, sorry about the sound effects in the background. Uh, I I was saying in the Scorpio reading, um, my friend just got back from Australia. Um, she was over there for like a month, and um, my other roommate, like they're all uh, talking and stuff. So it might be I, I'm anxious to go join them and you know see them and see what's going on. But um, so if you hear background noise, that's what's going on. Uh, you have angel card here, and it says spiritual guidance, protection from harm. Beautiful. That is a card that you want to see, right? because it's like there's a two-faced friend here but you have an angel protecting you Sagittarius and of course you do that's like your card right the temperance card which is like a, a, a beautiful angel so yay all right so good I like that let's see what is going on for you Sagittarius okay uh, all right tell me about Sagittarius please going on for oh there's your card oh yeah definitely a new adventure or something along those lines or some kind of new uh, fun opportunity okay tell me about Sagittarius please what's going on for them next seven to ten days All right, the chariot card. All right, so you're feeling like you're moving forward in some way or um, ready for a breakthrough, or there could be a cancer that's particularly on your mind if you are involved with a cancer. Uh, we have the Gemini card showing up in your friends and or family. So there could be a prominent Gemini uh, in uh, involved this week. Ace of Wands, yeah, that's nice. So Ace of Wands is a good card showing up for you. Oh, wow, you got all kinds of good cards showing up. Okay. So yeah, and there's that full card and look and you at the bottom of the deck again. So being protected for sure. All right. Or there's another Sagittarius involved or an Aries coming your way, possibly. Um, I do feel like you have an opportunity here for career that could really lead to something very good, but it's like needing to take a leap of faith towards it because you have the Ace of Wands showing up here in your work career slash finances. So there, you may be seeing like a lot of fire in your, you know, activities, your business, Business, your career or something like that or a new offer or new ideas also all right that could lead to like some pretty long substantial like good money something like that uh, like I said I feel like you you are feeling like you are breaking through something now I will say though you have the devil card crowning your entire reading all right so that could be a Capricorn or it could be this two-faced situation, which is my guess. All right. So be careful of that. And just remember that you are guided here. Okay. For sure. Because you got, you have a lot of metaphysical cards showing up in your reading. You have the devil card, you have the magician, you have the lover's card, which to me is a pretty cosmic metaphysical card. Uh, you have the chariot card also, which to me can tie it into a little bit of like, um, um, karmas and things like that. You have the fool card here. You have a lot of major arcana showing up. So I do feel there is change that is, 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 uh, that's at the precipice this week based on a lot of things. Let me see what your unexpected is again. Okay. Seven of Wands, I'm not really getting much from that. I, I, I feel like this is you keeping this like devil energy at arm's length and, and that's a little unexpected. So someone, maybe like a codependent person or somebody who always says, oh, well, I'll go back to Sagittarius because they're always around or they're always there for me or something like that. I feel like the unexpected is that you're not going to be that anymore. Like, because you have all these cards of manifesting something new in your life. So I feel like they're, it's like more like they're unexpected because it's like what's unexpected is that you are going to be pushing this away and out of your life and having a clean new start so that's what I think is going on I think it's an unexpected in a good way and that's part of that angel guidance because I mean look at this you have ace of wands you have the chariot card you have the magician showing up in the romantic love sector se a section <laughs> 
Freudian slip uh, sector uh, where it's like that's about like manifesting new things okay and you have like the metaphysical cosmic you know lovers card here so I feel like you have a lot of new things on your your um, new clean slate board here and that you're going to be what's unexpected is how strong you are in pushing away the things that are no longer good you know welcome in your life so that's what I see uh, all right, so so there, like I said, there could be a Gemini that is um, here that is like um, uh, showing up in your friends area here. So let's see what that is about. Or family. The Empress, Six of Pentacles, Seven. Oh no, that that card was here already. All right, uh, let's see. So you have yeah another major Arcana card here. Wow. So something about a mother. All right. Maybe are you a twin also? Because it is the twins card. Um, or maybe somebody's having twins. <laughs> All right. But it's like the six of pentacles. I just feel like there's a lot of generosity or there's like some choices that are going in your benefit here is what I am seeing. All right. Things are going to like start working towards in a good way for you is what I see. Um, may have something to do with a mother. Um, sometimes this is about like inheritance or something like that. It doesn't have to be, but it can be. We have Taurus and Gemini showing here if that means anything to you but they're positive cards all of these cards are positive i don't see any battles with family or or bad things with friends or anything like that but you do have that card so be careful you know with the, the two-faced friend but you're good you're you're guided you're good with that all right let me take a look at love and see what the magician is about because a magician could be sometimes the magician is great it's like you're manifesting new things and all that but it can also be since it's in the love area here it could be somebody that's being manipulating and then maybe that's who you are pushing away let's see tell me about the magician please here in the romantic sector of this reading Eight of Pentacles. okay Ace of Cups. No, it's a love offer. Yeah, I feel like uh, you have new love coming in. Um, possibly there could be an Aquarius, a Leo, or a Libra that you're sort of like maybe, I don't know, you know, kind of thing. Maybe that's that other situation. Or a Pisces also I'm getting. But yeah, for most of you, I feel like when you're not expecting it, love is going to like come through your door or through to your heart or what have you so like when you're like kind of busy and you're working on your own things and you're not looking for love it's like I feel like you are going to be finding love very soon so those of you I would say too if you're trying to manifest like um you know, you're doing like affirmations or you're trying to you know find your soulmate or you know something like that to do that and then just go to work, go do the things that you just typically do. And in other words, like, don't like, where's my soulmate? Where's my soulmate? Where's my soul? You know, thing don't, don't over affirmate or, or don't overdo things. Just say it, believe it, all that good stuff. And then like, go right back to what you usually do. And I feel like the universe got your back here. They're going to have something coming in that you're going to really like. I mean, this could be like your person if that's what you're manifesting. So that looks really good. I don't know if that's coming in now because that, you know, these are clarifying cards. So right now it's saying be this. All right. You've got the tools to manifest a new start with someone, not return back to like old things or anything like that. And it's the things are, that aren't working anyway. And it's like, as just like say it affirm it leave it alone let it come to you be the attractor all right is what i see here um work and career like i said looks really good ace of wands you're going to be fired up about something or you're going to have a new idea or there's a job offer you know what it could mean a lot of different things but it's it's all good and it's like a new fresh vi revitalized or vitalized you know type of energy for you so it looks like a good week i feel like there's a lot of potential for you especially in the love department um and also through friends and family and work okay uh let's see all right so that was <clears throat> That was what? Um, that was Sagittarius. Okay, so we are on to Capricorn. All right, Capricorn. Let's see what you're... Oh, okay. Well, that came out right away. Uh, it, no, that wants to come out too. Okay. Tankard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love that word. All right. Let's see what's going on here. <clears throat> so the first card that came out right away is Tankard, and it says celebration, fun, and enjoyment. So I don't know, maybe maybe getting a little tipsy or you know, little or drunk, <laughs> flat out drunk. 
All right, I don't know. Okay. Uh, bird perched, and this says waiting for news, package, or letter. So there may be something about what you're waiting. So I, I'm kind of getting with the tankard card. Like maybe you go out with some friends or you go out drinking or something like that and you meet someone and then like you're waiting. You're waiting for them to call you, like, oh, are they going to call me? That, you know, that person I met, you know, at the bar last week or, you know, whatever, something like that. But let's see. Oh, and the emperor just fell out. I, oh, I wish I had the, it, it, you can't see it on the, but it just like rolled over and out. So um, this could absolutely be an Aries. We have Libra here also. But let's see here. All right. So tell me about what's going on for Capricorn in all areas uh, the next seven to 10 days, please. What is the message for Capricorn in all of these different areas the next seven to 10 days? Some of you really like, yeah, you're feeling ghosted or, or um, the Virgo too is very prominent. Like you're really thinking about a Virgo. Uh, some of you thinking about a Scorpio. All right, let's see what else. What do we have for Capricorn, please? Queen of Wands. All right. So you are feeling like you are being in like a good, strong, attracting energy at this time. So you're feeling like getting motivated. You're you're having some good ideas. Your your creativity is abound. All right, abounding. Abounding? Is that even the right way to say that? Okay. Uh, oh, there's somebody in your friends and or family, though, that is, that's having some problems. They could be having problems sleeping or really worried about something. So we'll look at that a little bit in a minute. Um, four of Pentacles for work, career, finances. Eh, you know, pretty standard card. Nothing, like, really earth-shattering or anything like that. Um, oh, well, okay. Although, this could be good. You may have a little extra money um, to do something with or to... Um, add to your savings or something like that coming in because you do have the six of pentacles crowning your reading which can be like receiving extra money all right work and career you have the four of pentacles <clears throat> as i said like a pretty like eh card like n nothing really different i feel going on there hold on one second yeah that's no, all right uh let's see let me see what your unexpected is Ooh, so your unexpected is an opportunity yeah, look at that. Waiting for news, package, or a letter. So that may show up. So if you've been waiting to hear about something, it may show up because it's like showing up in the unexpected this week. All right. So like if you kind of thought, you know, thought, well, maybe I'm not going to hear from that person or maybe I'm not going to hear from that job or maybe I'm not going to hear from that you know, hot dude, I bet at the, you know, whatever. It's like, yeah, you might. All right. That might be unexpected, but you're going to hear from them. All right. They might want to take you out on a date. If this isn't about you getting like a little extra money this week or, uh, you know, a little boost in pay or something like that, it could be somebody wanting to take you out on a date also, because you are showing as a queen of wands. So you're feeling like pretty attracting, you know, like you're starting to attract things in. You also have the three of pentacles in the romantic love sector. So that could mean like, I don't know. I feel like you may be like going out with like others or friends or something like that and you know maybe there's an unexpected opportunity there or something like that um it just feels like you you may be like letting go a little bit like if you don't typically go out and drink a lot or anything like that i feel like if you and I'm not encouraging you to go like get bombed or anything like that. But I feel like if you kind of loosen up a little bit or something like that, have some fun or whatever, then it you may end up meeting someone. Not that you couldn't without doing those things. I mean, I do it all the time. Like I go out with my friends all the time. I don't drink. <laughs> you know? I mean, I don't, I'm not anti-drinking. I might have a beer or something every now and then, but it's like, I'm not like a big drinker or something like that. But I'm kind of getting like, yeah, like just have a little fun or something like that. You might meet somebody is what I'm sensing. Let's take a look at this because <clears throat> I feel like somebody possibly need some extra attention with the nine of uh, swords there um they're definitely up in their head they're worried not sleeping well something like that so let's see what that is about tell me about the nine of swords in the family and or friends four of cups okay and the hermit yeah all right so it could be a virgo <clears throat> I don't know, some of you may have a male energy in your family and or friend sector that's like, they're worried about like love or something like that. So in other words, like if you have a teenager or or even a, you know, it doesn't have to be a teenager. If, if something, I do feel it's a male energy, they, they might be sort of like, hmm, 
well, you know, so-and-so didn't call me, or I don't know, maybe they're a little bummed out or need a little extra cheering up or something like that this week, if you feel it's warranted. I mean, sometimes people do need to be bummed out over things and kind of learn from that, right? But I don't know, the, the hermit suggests to me that you could provide some sort of insight or wisdom to the situation. So I don't know, there does seem to be somebody who's like suffering with a little bit of apathy, and but it's a lot to do with like fear and anxiety. All right, going on within. So you might be able to shed a little bit of light on that. You know, I, I don't suggest trying to overdo anything because quite frankly, you know, people typically don't listen. But on the other hand, too, it's like it's good to plant wisdom seeds if you do have them, because even if they're not really grasping onto them right now, it's like the seeds are planted. So maybe somewhere down the road, you know, if you if you truly do have good wisdom to, uh, you know, shine on a situation, go for it, I feel. Uh, let's see. So all in all, I'd say it looks like a decent week for you. I feel like there's um, something that you that you've been waiting on, like I said, unexpectedly could show up. So that could mean a lot of different things. It may, it, it may show up in a different form, not in a way that you were expecting. Uh, let's say you were expecting it to be a package or a letter or something like that. Well, it turns out to be a phone call or, you know, something like that. There, or there just could be something different about it that's unexpected, but it's good. All right, this is a good um, offer that will be coming your way in some direction. Uh, for a lot of you, I think, I think it's either extra money coming your way or and or <laughs> okay uh something like a, a connection through um that may lead to like a romantic endeavor or something like that down the road okay uh let's see so that was capricorn we are on to aquarius all right aquarius let's see what do we have going on for aquarius please this week Oh, wow. Oh my God. That's like 20 million cards. All right. Too many. <laughs> okay. Seriously. It was like, like a quarter of this deck. That'd probably be like 20 cards. Uh, okay. Tell me about Aquarius. Okay. So we have owl. Good advice <clears throat> from a wise person. Okay. Let's see what that is about. So you may be receiving some really good advice from someone who is really wise, all right, um, or giving it, you know, that could be as well, all right, with the owl card, but it does say good advice from a wise person. Okay, so what do we have for Aquarius, please, for the next seven to ten days? Aquarius, what is up for Aquarius, please? Okay, Four of Cups, okay, Justice, Ace of Pentacles, all right, ooh, all right, and ooh, okay. So your unexpected really is unexpected. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get to what that is. So we'll, we'll look at that in a minute. All right. So you have the King of Pentacles crowning your reading. So there could be a particular earth sign that is important this week. I feel like this is the person giving the good advice. So it may be like a male energy person. It doesn't have to be a male. A lot of times I do go, like, I know, I know that's odd for, you know, readers with general readings. But a lot of times I do say it's, it's a dude or it's a female or what have you because I usually read the cards as they do come out. But this one, I'm not so sure. I feel like it's it's it could be a female. All right. But it's someone who has really good business sense. Uh, they're very grounded. All right. So they may be giving you some really good advice is, is really what I'm seeing. And absolutely, it may be around your career sector. All right. With the Ace of Pentacles here. Because that's showing up in your work, career, and or finances. So it's like I do feel like there could be some somewhat very wise, good with money, good with business. That's giving you some really good advice. All right. So that, or that's possible for you this week. Um, your overall, like kind of like how you're feeling four of cups. I don't know. I feel, I feel like there's things in front of you, but it's like, nothing's really lighting you up necessarily right now this week as uh, I feel like love is sort of like eh, to you. It, it very, it feels like you may be keeping somebody at arm's length or, or vice versa. It could be, you know, the other way around. I'm not sure. It feels like it's you kind of sort of like blocking things right now. Not really, not really going there, but we'll, we'll get a little more on that. Um, friends and or family, there could be a particular Libra that plays a role, uh, this week. All right. Uh, with the justice here. 
Uh, if it's not a Libra, I would just say things are good, things are fair, you know, just, balanced. Uh, you know, I don't see big dramas or anything like that. Things will probably be fairly, you know, copacetic, that kind of thing. Your unexpected is the moon. So this could go a few different ways. A, it could be a Pisces. And so if that makes sense for you and you're like, oh, yep, okay, there's that Pisces again. Uh, well, they may unexpectedly crop up for you in the next seven to 10 days. If it's not a Pisces, then the moon is going to be difficult because the moon literally means like... Uh, it, um, it, it's like for it to be in the unexpected uh, area of this reading is really going to be difficult because not only is it unexpected, but the moon card also means things that are unclear. So I'm not sure I'm going to be able to really see what that is unless I, you know, it is a Pisces. But let's let's see. We're going to take a stab at a few things here. Um, all right. So let's see. Well, oh, so you, this just fell out on the Ace of Pentacles. Let's see what that is. Okay, Ten of Cups, Three of Swords. Okay, yeah, you know what? Some of you, you're just you, you may not be feeling like where you work now is like 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 before. It may may have felt like like a work family, you know, like it was um, it was the right place for you. I feel like you're going to be moving on to something else because it doesn't feel that way anymore. Maybe they've become all about. Uh, greed or all about this or all about that and it's like not the direction that you feel like it's that maybe it's been taken over by some new corporation where it just doesn't really feel like there's like it's a family anymore so i feel like you're going to seek out a new opportunity and you're going to get some really good advice about how to do that and and move into something else is what i see all right for sure so there is opportunity yeah i feel like you are getting very clear about that and you are looking for new things because your current situation or current job just doesn't feel like family anymore or like it's on the right track yet yeah, and you know aquarius typically has a pretty um good sense of upholding um you know truth within themselves you know they they they're not just going to go go along with you know what everybody else is going along with and i feel like you are tired of doing that or you're seeing too much of it going on now uh and it didn't used to be that way so you're looking for new opportunities i feel like there's a great one for you uh okay love mm, seven of wands doesn't really scream a romantic love here but let's see if we get anything else on that okay i do feel like somebody will be contacting you though but just be forewarned it's like they, they still don't know what they want so so there could be a phone call from this person that you are trying to like block or trying to keep it at arm's length or you know something like that but i just i feel like they it's it's nothing revelatory like they still are unsure on like what yeah <laughs> so this is very on off or like nothing that you're not expecting like they they never know what they want but they're gonna be calling you anyway kind of thing all right so i do see that um you know, what is the moon card so it could be a Pisces. Okay. Yeah, I feel like it's an X or something like that. And that's in the unexpected. So some of you may have an X that is like going to like all of a sudden, you know, be calling you again or, um, but this isn't, I, I, because I don't want to give false hope out there. Like if you're like a, like really hoping, like you haven't heard from somebody for a while and it's like the one that you're like super into and you're like, God, I hope so. I hope they call. This isn't somebody like that you're hoping or like that you're all, all about or anything like that. This would be for those of you who have someone that like, you're like, yeah, I know who that is. <laughs> You know, same old, same old. You know, it's like, that's that's what I, I feel. So yes, I do feel like that person will be around and contacting you. I feel like your moon card is going to be just like difficult because it's it's the six of cups. So it does have something to do most likely with like an ex or somebody who comes back around, something like that. It doesn't have to though, because this doesn't have to be about love, you know, because this isn't a love reading. This isn't a weekly reading, but... I feel like it, it most likely is, all right? If it's not, the only other thing, because again, it's gonna be difficult with the moon here, is that it could be possibly some kind of opportunity that like a friend just, you know, shows up that you haven't heard from for a while or something like that, and you talk to them and it's unexpected and you, you know, you guys catch up, you know, something like that. Uh, let's see, anything else for Aquarius that they need to know? Yeah, there's a king of pent this king of pentacles energy. There's somebody though who 
it's like it's gonna be hard like I feel like you it really is good advice that they're giving you and it feels like it's not because you're like well you're looking at them and you're like but yeah they're kind of like a victim mentality and they like had to work like forever to get this far or they had to work and work and work and work and work and break their back do back breaking work before they ever got anything so why should i listen to this person but there is some kind of wisdom that they do have all right so i don't that's very specific for you for you know somebody out there but they do actually have good advice even though they and that's why they have good advice because it's like they did go through such like hardship and things and they probably realized like they could have done things a lot better you know or a lot quicker or a lot different you know so that's why they have good advice so like not in other words not judging them on like well why are you giving me advice it took you you know 20 years to do that or something like that it's the that's why they have good advice because they learned from that they're like yeah I, I, it, you know <laughs> that's like me it's like like I, I'm, I'm always, I, you know, I, I, some, I'm probably annoy people sometimes, but sometimes I give people advice, you know, and it, like um, when they post community posts and things like other tar tarot channels and stuff, and it's like I always, I always preface it with like don't listen to me too much though it's like i've been doing this for such and such years and i've only got you know this many subscribers or what have you but the thing is it's like i've learned a lot from those mistakes you know i know what i made you know the mistakes i made so it's that's what i'm getting like somebody may have some really good advice but it's like you're like no i don't think you know i should listen to you because blah 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 but yeah they they do i feel like they do have some good advice that, that's coming towards you so i don't know it looks like an interesting week i think that you know there is an opportunity here in your work career or to get something going here that's grounded that could really grow uh i feel like love eh, you know i feel like you're gonna hear from somebody you know but um some of you it's gonna be unexpected like an ex um others of you you know this could just be an unexpected if it's not an ex like something surprising that you weren't you know that's nice it's nostalgic to you it's like a friend you haven't talked to for a while or something like that all right uh, okay, so that was Aquarius. So we are on to Pisces. Okay, so let's see what's going on for you, Pisces. All right, Pisces, let's see what is ahead for you next seven to ten days. Okay, so you have box. You will receive a gift. Nice. You will receive a gift. All right, so let's see what that is about, Pisces. Okay, Pisces, please. Next seven to ten days for Pisces. Okay, so you have the two of wands. I feel like some of the, yeah, I mean, you have this, you will receive a gift. Um, some of you from a Taurus or possibly a Libra, all right? I, I feel like you're making some choices this week. So you are, you're, you're, you're like getting ready to really make a choice about something. For some of you, it's about love, all right, for sure. Because uh, you have the world card, there could be new cycles coming in here, or you are thinking about revitalizing a cycle, it depends, all right? But it's like, I do feel like you are making the choice to move forward with your decision this week. So whether, because I, I don't know, I feel like some of you are realizing that love was taking away from your focus on work. And so now you're going to be focusing on work more. And that's why you're making like a final decision in a sense like about your romantic life and you you really want to get that cycle like i feel like you you're there's a there's an oracle card called clean it up that's coming into my head right now and it's about like 
picking up the, the loose ends, you know, or, or uh, you know, taking care of the loose ends in something with love is what I feel like you're doing uh, so that you can like start dating again or something like that. Because there may be somebody through your work that you're interested in, or you may just find yourself wanting to go out and network more, something like that. But there was something about the emotions that were that you were involved with in a love situation were just kind of holding you back from things. So I feel like you're going to be not really in that energy that much this week you're you're making some cuts in that way you're starting to see like what you really want to start seeing in your future then it's like you're getting more serious also about your work and your career and networking i see um and also you have this you will receive a gift so i don't know i'm not really sure what that is i haven't really seen that yet although you do have justice in your family slash friends sector so this could mean absolutely from like a libra all right uh or it's um it could indicate like some sort of someone could be making like contracts or something like that for you in some way and like you you're receiving some kind of gift in in a contract or something like that it could have something to do with like parents or some kind of traditional something that is tra like a traditional passed down gift to you or something along those lines too i'm getting for some of you um I feel like somebody could be like a little bit like jealous that you got the gift because I almost feel like it does come from like family or like something that's like passed to you or or on to you and someone else may be a little bit uh, ticked off that you were the one to get that or something like that possibly um, but you know it is what it is and you know I mean whatever's meant for you is meant for you so you know I would just say accept it gracefully and great gratefully and all those things and it could be something something totally not that large you know I mean it could be something like that in like a contract or a family thing or an inheritance or something like that but for others of you it might just be something like cute and fun that you know you receive a gift this week you know maybe uh, you know somebody uh, you know gives you a flower at the supermarket or something like that right I don't know something like that so but it's like for others of you though I think that there there could be like a, an increase through your work career things like that when the focus is taken away from the romantic side of things is is definitely what i'm seeing for you at least this week let me look at your world card though that's in your romance sector and see if there's anything more to say about that <clears throat> Yeah, Ace of Wands. Yeah, see, the Ace of Wands is about new things. There you go. All right. I That's, see, and maybe that's the gift. Okay, because there's another way to look at this, too. The gift could be more of a cosmic sense of, like, when, because I really get the sense, like, of your reading, and I don't know why, because I don't really have a whole bunch of cards telling me this, but where it's, like, you're making the choice to, like, not put too much emotional stock into a relationship and once you do that and you kind of just come to terms with something and 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 it's not that you're forgetting about somebody or that you've cut the cord or anything like that but you're just not letting it be as big a factor in your life and then like you're starting to pay more attention to your work your career your friends things like that i feel like maybe that's it that's when you know you're getting a gift because then look at this Boom. That's what clarifies the world card. So there's like this clearing of energy and then the new energy energy can come through. And it's like, then you have the tower card and the king of cups. So, you know, something unexpected could be coming in soon. I don't feel like that because this is clarified. So that energy is for later, but this energy is for now. So the next seven to 10 days is about you really kind of, like I said, like tying up the loose ends in a way, in a good way, in a positive way. And, and um, just allowing yourself to focus more on what you really, you know, positively on what you really want to see in your world. Some of you want to travel um, more or just like network more, something like that. I feel like that's in your future. Some of you maybe just the tried and true and traditional. You just want to get married or, you know, what have you. That too. I feel like there's a whole bunch of possibilities here, but the gift doesn't seem to like come until there's this sort of completion of a romantic cycle where it's truly like you feel free like you're um like they're not obsessed with you you're not obsessed with them and there's there's this like freedom then that's when the gift seems to come in here for you okay that's what i am seeing 
So interesting week. I, I feel like it's just a week to pay attention to the things that you really, like you're getting closer to something that you desire in your life is what I see. So pay attention to that for sure. All right. In the positive. Okay. I'm going to stop there. We've got some noise coming in and all that good stuff. And uh, I'll see you guys uh, in a couple days. Thanks guys. Bye.